Hi, Mathieu from Sim here. The ISO Photo Lab is a key player in photo editing. And I, I'm not only saying that because they are French too, but in reality, Photo Lab features one of the most advanced uh, raw engine and some of the most acclaimed um, noise reduction and uh, image cleaning technologies out there. It's been acclaimed by photographers over the years, and uh, we wanted to create a seamless integration of uh, Photolab inside Picto. So what we came out with is an editing workspace dedicated to Photolab with the following benefits. Benefit number one, you can edit inside Photolab from any source, whether it's Capture One, Photos, Luminar, Lightroom, of course, as if Photolab would be a plugin. Benefit number two, you can access all your Photolab edits, all your Photolab versions in a single location, the workspace. Not only do you see accurate previews of your Photolab edits inside that workspace, but you can further invoke Photolab to refine your adjustments, for example. Benefit number three, you can see all your Photolab edits next to the other versions that you might have in other tools uh, right within Picto. And you can use Picto as annotation features to annotate your Photolab content, uh, as you do with other types of content. In this video, we're going to cover the Photolab editing workspace in detail. We're going to show you how Photolab works, uh, how it uses uh, special types of sidecars to store its edits, and how we leverage those sidecars inside Picto to access the previews and, and to access all the edits and all the versions created in Photolab inside the workspace. If you're ready, let's get started. The first thing that you will notice when you launch this new version is that if you have any of the Beto products installed on your computer, you will see those pop-ups uh, asking you whether you want to integrate these products into, into Picto. So this will create two new workspaces, one for Pure Raw and one for Photolab. I'm going to add those um, to Picto. And as you can see, they, they appear now in my sidebar under the editing workspace uh, section. Uh, together with Pixelmator Pro, which was introduced in uh, in uh, version 1.6. You can also access those workspaces from the Applications tab here, where you can browse through them. You can see <clears throat> what are the different configurations that have been installed, and you can also remove those integrations if you want. We'll now look into the um, first integration, which is uh, Photolab. So in its core, Photolab is, uh, is a file browser and it will let you access your images on, on disk and, and then make some edits. And it features some very powerful denoising and, uh, and um, image enhancements. And uh, the way we w it works is uh, it will actually write uh, a little sidecar file next to the image that has been edited. And we leverage those sidecars in, in Picto. So there are multiple scenarios depending how you will use or have been using a Photolab in the past. So the first scenario is the following. Suppose you have already some Photolab sidecars in a watched folder, a folder that is attached to Picto. Upon launching of the this new version, those folders will be scanned for those um, sidecars and if they are present then Picto will recognize and construct a Photolab version that will appear right in the grid. The second scenario is uh, if you have some catalogs that are referenced um, that are referencing uh, some images through master folders. So take for example Capture One, Lightroom or Luminar. Well in, in that case uh, those folders are not scanned uh, by Picto because Picto only relies on the information coming from the catalog. So what, what happens uh, in that scenario is if you use Picto to launch Photolab for one of these images, Picto will um, behind the scene add the parent folder of that image 
in in a in a list of folders that it watches for Photolab. So um, it will pick up the changes and those sidecars that might appear in that folder. You can also manually add um, such folders in uh, in a preference screen for Photolab. Uh, I'll show you that in a moment. And the, the last scenario is suppose you have some catalogs that um, are managing their images. That means the images are embedded in the catalog file. In that case, uh, Picto will not let you edit the image in place and will prompt you to uh, make a copy in the work folder dedicated to Photolab. In that case, that folder will be managed by Picto. A copy will be created and uh, once the sidecar appears, um, Picto will detect the version and will display uh, its thumbnail accurately. The Photolab workspace is uh, split into uh, three parts. There is um, a first section called All Versions. Then there is the last edits, which is essentially the same content as all versions, but uh, sorted by edit date. And then there is your work folder. This is where uh, you can add things. So whatever you what you, what you see in the all versions tab is all the um, all the versions created inside Photolab that are anywhere on in your sources, as well as the ones that are created in the work folder. In order to see how this integration works, let's look at a folder that we're going to add to Pic2. Um, this folder is located here. And uh, as you can see, there's already some uh, DxO um, sidecars there because I've edited some, some images. If I open Photolab, I can see um, the content of this folder. I can see that I've uh, uh, I have some images here. Um, I have uh, edited some of them. And uh, let's do a further edit on one of these images. Let's create a um, virtual copy, for example. So here I'm in Photolab. I'm doing some, some edits. Um, let's not change the... Uh, but uh, let's pick this image and let's do some changing of the colors for example so i'm going to use black and white here not going to do anything else or maybe just change slightly the view here all right so i'm validating my crop I have now two versions of that image inside a photo lab. These two. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that folder to Picto. So Picto is going to recognize the images, it's going to ingest as, as it did before. But it will also recognize that some images uh, have a sidecar. And as you can see, those two images here do not have this little DNG badge, but instead they have a Photolab badge. So this image is uh, is really the preview of what I've done inside uh, Photolab. There are some others here that I've uh, edited in Photolab and I can see that. So what I'm seeing here is a view of my folder and some of the images are just plain previews of my raw files that are on that for in that folder, while some others are the previews of the edits that have been done with Photolab in that folder. And these two views are actually exactly the same. Now, if I go into the Excel Photolab, I will see the subset of all these images that have been edited in Photolab. So from my virtuals directory, I only see those five images. So that's the first way to uh, to work with Photolab is uh, recognizing what has already been edited uh, and and then uh, displaying in, uh, in Picto. The second scenario is starting from a new image. So let's start from here. This is a raw file. 
I'm going to edit in the uh, Photolab workspace. So I have two options here. Either I <coughs> make a copy, that's going to create a copy of that raw file in my work folder, and uh, and then uh, launch uh, Photolab for that copy. Or I can uh, stay inside uh, the uh, current folder in which this image lives, and I'm going to edit in place. So let's do that. Pictor tells me that the image is going to be uh, edited in its current location, and uh, which means that uh, the sidecar is going to be created next to the image. So let's do the same, same type of editing as I've done before, just to uh, demonstrate uh, so I'm going to use toning here, black and white. Let's make it sepia, right? So I have a, I have a change here in my image. I'm just going to select another image, just to make sure that the sidecar has been written. And then if I go back to Picto, Picto will have picked up uh, that new version and uh, it displays it to me in the last edits or in the old versions um, area. So that's the second scenario. I've edited from uh, a catalog and uh, Picto has monitored the, the folder in which this image lived and, uh, and is now going, going to continue watching that folder for, for new changes. So if I go back to Photolabs, for example, and I <coughs> switch my image back to, let's put it back to black and white. Okay. If I go back to Picto, it should update the image and set it back to black and white. To fully understand what's happening here, if I go into this little menu, Edit Photolab Integration, you can see the list of folders that are watched for sidecars. And this image that is uh, living in Lightroom um, has its uh, master living in this folder, and this folder has been automatically added by uh, Picto in order to, uh, to watch for, for content. I could remove it here by selecting it. It's going, of course, it's going to break all the uh, uh, the real time synchronization between uh, Picto and this folder. Or I can add new ones. Uh, this can be uh, the scenario could be that you have some locations in which you have already images, uh, and you just want to um, to add them. So, for example, here in my case, <clears throat> I could add the parent of that uh, master folder in order to make sure that in all folders in that hierarchy, I will pick all the, the Photolab, the Photolab um, um, sidecars that, that exist there, rather than going by one by one in each of those folders. This could be a scenario for, for, for that thing. <clears throat> Finally, the, the last use case is, uh, uh, let's say I'm starting from Apple Photo. So in Apple Photo, the images um, are either managed or referenced, <clears throat> but I can um, I can choose, for example, to uh, to take an image and I can dro drop it into the work folder. In this case, it's going to make a copy of that image <clears throat> in the work folder. Then I can make my edits. Let's reapply the same black and white. Sometimes the view doesn't update uh, immediately, so. Um, so it's now it's a, it's a really black and white image. <clears throat> if I go back here, it's going to update to black and white. The situation is a bit different now because I'm looking at an image that is in my work folder. <clears throat> if I look to the the work folder here, it contains a copy of that uh, original raw file. So a copy has been made, and next to it you can see the sidecar <clears throat> that is synchronized by Picto. So that's the um, the last scenario. Sometimes you don't have the choice. You have to uh, create copies when, for example, you're dealing with uh, with catalogs such as Apple Photo, or for example, here if I look at this Aperture catalog where everything is managed by Aperture, 
if I go into editing workspace, I don't have the choice to edit in place because uh, it would bury the, uh, uh, the sidecar in, in, the, in the Aperture catalog itself. So I, I have to create a copy. So doing that will actually create a copy of that raw file into the, uh, the work folder that from there I can do my edits and at the end they will appear uh, in my work folder. <clears throat> Notice one thing that is quite uh, quite nice is that um, if I double click on this image, I can see the, the version that was created in Photolab, but I still have access to the original, which is in photos. So I have both and you clearly see uh, how DxO has applied the uh, uh, lens correction here on this image. And uh, they live in the same instance, so I can access them very easily. That's another way to find uh, images for which you have uh, the DxO um, Photolab versions, where you can, you can use the instant and, and then find, find it really easily. We are super happy with the level of integration that we've achieved here. Uh, making Photolab as easy to invoke as if it was a plugin to Picto. Whether Picto is your main cataloging app or whether you're still using another catalog such as Capture One, for example, the new Photolab editing workspace makes it super easy to tap into the advanced editing features, um, noise reduction, image cleaning, uh, features of Photolab right within Picto and to see the results and the previews of the versions that you create in Photolab right within Picto. The XO Photolab has a companion app called Pure Raw, which focuses solely on a cleaning of raw files. And we've created an editing workspace for Pure Raw and a dedicated integration with Pure Raw inside Picto 2. If you're interested, please look at the video that appears above. We thank you very much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like it and to uh, subscribe to this channel if you're interested in uh, uh, the content that we will publish in the future. That's all for now. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye.